Hello, Corrosion friends. I am Kevin Ogle, Associate Editor at Corrosion Journal. It's my pleasure to introduce a recently accepted article concerning the effect of chlorination on the corrosion of stainless steel in seawater. The corresponding author is Nicolas Lachet of the Institute of Corrosion in France, in collaboration with Industiel, OrcelorMittal, France, and Alima, Sweden. The chlorination of seawater is a well-known method of controlling biofilms on stainless steel. And while chlorination eliminates the biofilm, it also introduces strong chlorine-based oxidizing agents into the environment, which may also induce corrosion. In this work, a variety of stainless steel materials were tested, ranging from high-grade duplex, superduplex, hyperduplex uh, steels with print values ranging from 35 to 53. Experiments included conventional electrochemical methods to evaluate the effect of biofilms and the free chlorine on the cathodic reactions and the open circuit potential. These electrochemical studies were correlated with corrosion under simulated user conditions, either as an internal tube under heat flux or in simulated crevice environments. The final result, and perhaps the most important conclusion from a practical point of view, was a table showing the risk of corrosion for the different materials as a function of free chlorine concentration and temperature in both situations. Another very nice contribution of this article was to present the microstructure of selected corroded specimens in the different environments. Selective dissolution of the ferrite phase was observed for some specimens in the model tube heat exchanger, while in the crevice environment, the austenitic phase was selectively corroded. This article makes an excellent contribution to our understanding of the corrosion of stainless steel in these complex environments and has a nice balance between a fundamental understanding and a practical result for use in the field. I suggest you check it out.